My first and most used favorite application on this list is a note-taking application called Notes by Fossify or Fossify Notes. And I also mentioned this application in a couple of best open source standard applications videos and other best note-taking applications videos. And I'm really glad I came across this application, not because it is the best in terms of advanced features, but this application gives me exactly what I need. One life-saving feature I get from this application is the ability to save notes as a text file and not only that, once I've saved a particular note as a text for the first time, every single edit or update I make in that very note reflects automatically in the text file saved in my phone storage. The fact that it is open source, requires no account, lets me export notes and even set up automatic backups, lightweight, very clean and simple, and even offers security on notes, has made this application my number one note-taking application. And of course, there are some amazing note-taking applications which came up this year as well. And after uploading over 90 videos this year, I've covered several great Android applications and this video is about some of my favorite Android applications of 2024, some always running in the background and some which I open and use almost every single day. All the apps are free to install, so feel free to try them out. Another utility application which I use almost every day is MJPDF, which is a simple and efficient PDF reading application. And aside the useful tools the application has including auto-scrolling to read notes, which you can adjust the speed, plus zoom lock and others, the app focuses on privacy by not storing any single document in the app like most PDF reading applications do. And anytime you want to read a document with this application, you can either share the document with it, or when you open this application, it takes you straight to your phone storage for you to select which documents you want to read. The app can generate table of contents from documents, scan and copy text from documents when you long press, you can also force dark mode on documents, it is just a great app plus it is open source and has no ads. Next on the list is OSS Document Scanner, which does a pretty good job when it comes to scanning documents. It works very well with both scanning directly from the application using the camera and also when you import files to enhance and export them as PDF files or even image files. And talking of enhancement, it offers different filters, it also can detect text in a document and in terms of security, it allows you to set up unlocking with fingerprints and there's allowed screenshots within the application. The app stores every single document you've scanned with it, so in case you lose the documents from your phone, you can't come back to this application for it. This is also open source with no ads, even the interface is clean and simple to walk through. Talking of favorite applications, Blockit is an app which would definitely make everyone's list of favorite Android applications this year. And there are several reasons for it. And if you don't know, this application can lock you out of your phone completely and you cannot have access unless you pay to stop a session with real money. And so if you are looking to be productive but keep getting distracted by notifications or just the urge to unlock your phone, this is the application you need. And in my case, I have added this application's widget on my phone with a custom duration of 45 minutes and I use this widget when I'm watching a football match. And in terms of design, this is one of the best application designs I've ever seen and I'm a big fan of clean and minimal UI. And so this application offers that plus some more robust functionality. The next seven applications are always running in the background after setting them up for once. Material Photo Widget is another application which I always use. The app lets you add widgets containing your favorite photos to your home screen. And ever since the app was launched, I've had its widgets on my second home screen with images like future desk setup ideas, things I want to purchase and other favorite photos. The widget can also be customized, you can change the shape, add as many photos as you want and even choose what action to perform when you tap on the widget. So after adding many photos, the photos will automatically change so you can also adjust the interval in the settings. Next is Wavelet and so this application serves as an external equalizer to any type of media playing on your phone and it offers some great sound effects settings including graphic equalizer, loudness, bass tuner which adds more bass to music, virtualizer, channel balance and others. And if you haven't tried this application yet, you actually should to experience the huge effect it has on your listening experience, especially the bass and loudness. Plus, if your favorite music playing application is lacking an inbuilt equalizer, this application will cover that. And the app works whether through your phone speaker, a Bluetooth headset or any way you listen to your music. Next is Edge Control, which is a simple application you can use to control volume and phone brightness by swiping up and down on the edge of your screen. And you can customize the triggers and even disable one edge if you only want one edge of your phone screen for such functionality. 
Another useful tool always running in the background is this very well-known application called Volume, which allows you to control music using your phone's volume keys. So once you've installed and set it up, you can skip to next track or previous track by long pressing on either the up or down volume buttons depending on how you set it up. And so even if your phone screen is off or you have your phone in your pocket, you can control your music without unlocking your phone to do so. And the premium version of this application unlocks more control features. Auto D&D is another simple, lightweight, open source application which functions well by putting your phone in do not disturb mode automatically when you open certain applications. So in the app, you can choose all the apps for this application to work on. And so whenever you open those applications, your phone enters do not disturb to avoid distractions from notifications for as long as that particular application is in use. Next is Action Notch, another useful application which gained much attention. This application makes good use of your phone's notch, whether a teardrop, a hole punch or any notch style by making gestures like double tapping, single tap or long pressing and more. And there are several actions you can assign these gestures to, so instead of opening app settings or toggling the quick settings, to access some tools or features like turning on the flashlight, taking a screenshot or pausing and continuing a video or music, you can set up this application for that. And moving on to some of my favorite customization applications, Lumina Walls is a wallpaper application launched this year and talking of awesome app design, this application is the best in that category. Not really much going on but the user experience is top notch, it's got a great collection of high quality wallpapers, both free and paid wallpapers and with the new wallpapers almost added every day. The app's UI is great, smooth navigation, it has both light and dark modes and if you haven't tried it yet, definitely go check it out. When it comes to home screen custom widgets, Color Blobs KWG GT has been my favorite. I also mentioned it in a couple of videos and even shared some promo codes as well. The widgets this application comes with are very clean and minimal and the styles are unique. You also get different clock styles, music widgets, some vibrant widgets. They are really amazing to look at. Plus, it has over 40 wallpapers to match the widgets. And moving on to Icon Pack, one U3 accent icons which I even featured in a recent video has always been my favorite. And even with the app's recent update, which has added up to the colors when it comes to wallpaper adaptation. And so on this home screen, the wallpaper is from Lumina Walls, the widgets from Color Blobs KWGT, and of course, one U3 accent for the icons. If you also tried several hundred applications, let me know some of your most used applications this year in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like, and then share it. And as always, thank you for watching.